Hi, this is Koi here, and uh, these strange symbols that you're seeing in front of you are a script that I worked about 24 hours on for a language that I've been creating for a few years called Mwebe. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people have shown an interest in being able to write like this, like just English words, so I'm going to be showing everyone a uh, little manual on how to do this, showing uh, two words. Um, both words in the language, not actually English, but have, uh, use English words. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the video capture that I'm using right now may cause for, uh, some slow jerky movement, so I may not be able to get the kind of flowiness that I really want, but I'll see if I can do this. Okay. Well, right here, let's see, uh, we have something called ku, which means um, I or me. So let me get this out here. Okay. See, and there's you. This one right here uh, would be the base, and this here would be the middle or end that you could use. So just uh, just starting out uh, using the C for the base. Go add two dots there, and then because this is a lot like cursive, adding that afterwards. That's a good way to start out uh, if you're not really used to actually writing it. But if you're going to be writing it in say a more uh, like fancy way a lot faster it would be something like this and now you see the U here is a lot more skewed and that calls for an alternate glyph that's kind of um, like substituted for the U that would look more like that but it is still the same thing and still certainly comprehensible if you're if you're used to it. Okay, so time to move on to a another section. Moving over, gonna back up a bit. This one is called let me get this going. This one's called Fanian for woman. So it seems pretty damn complex, but that's why you have to break it down. So first, just doing it normally, there's the F, and uh, the A right here is um, a, a pretty good thing. There's a lot of A's in Nuebe, so it serves as a good break because you first have to do this and then continue on. So then. There's an N. The line over it is to distinguish it from other characters and glyphs in here that could be confused because of all the little twisties and turns, just like uh, this one, which would be I. Because it's got the same sort of loopiness, um, the M is very much alike to that. So putting a line over it, if you're disregarding the two dots there, would help you be able to see that it's an N and an I instead of a very obscure looking M that somebody wrote wrong. So then there's another break for an A, then another N that has a big flourishy top that wasn't written very well because this thing makes it very slow. And the flip at the end, those are used to show just the end of a word in case maybe the space that you added wasn't like wasn't clear enough so you know that, that is the very end of the word. Okay, so now trying to write it faster. It's a bit more difficult, especially since this thing is slowing me down. So let's give this a shot. Taking a break. Another break for those. 
Oh, it turned out terrible because, oh my god. Uh, it just turned out terrible. Let me, let me redo the last part. This thing has slung me down so much. Oh, whatever. You get the idea. It's supposed to look more flourishy than that. So anyway, writing that fast and having a few breaks to add in the dots and lines and having the A as a helper, you can write it a lot faster, but you may notice that the A's over here look different from the ones that are at the top. Well, seeing the first A, it's pretty different. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't go down like that. It just sort of goes out. That would be, um an alternate glyph that looks like that. Just like, you know, how people may write different English words, you know, slightly different. It has to do with handwriting, how fast you write it, but it is still uh, distinguishable if you're used to it. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Very uh, quick, easy to see this. Yeah, this is, I'm doing this all in Photoshop. It's kind of difficult. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, if you want to try this out, um, this, the full, uh, alphabet, or I suppose you can then call it a cipher, is uh, on my DeviantArt page, which I will be linking in the description below. So, yeah, try this out, but you have to read the rules first. Okay, bye-bye.